Hello and welcome to Fun Toy Stop. Today we're going to continue looking at Jurassic World toys. And what I got here is the Indominus Rex versus the Gyrosphere, rated at ages 4 plus. Now there are some small parts in here, so it's not for children under 3 years of age. Now here you can see the Gyrosphere, and this looks really cool. I really can't wait to get this out of the box and feel this out, play with it a little bit, see how it is. Also we got the Indominus Rex, you can touch it in the box here to feel how it feels. And also there's an arrow pointing to the tail here, and why that is there is because if you push down on the tail, it means that head movement, the neck moves, as well as there's Chomping Joe's action. Now also there's a soldier standing right under the butt, hiding there, this tiny little guy. It's going to be sitting in our gyrosphere. Alright, let's turn this around. And here's the back. You can see that you can actually have this little window on the side of the Indominus Rex slide back to create the looks of some dino damage. As well, here it says Chomping Jaws and also Firing Discs for the Gyrosphere. And down here you can see that the guy gets thrown out of the Gyrosphere, so that's going to be another thing that it's able to do. Now here is also in the corner some information, if you want to pause the video you can read this. But without any further ado, let's not waste any more time. Let's open this thing up and see how this thing actually works. Alright, so here are the things that came inside the box. So let's start looking at the Indominus Rex first. Now as you can see it has this Chomping Joe action and uh, the head bopping motion when you push down on the tail, but a lot of times it gets stuck so that means to me that something is going on inside with the mechanics I don't think this was meant to be because sometimes it bounces back on its own and most of the time it doesn't so unfortunately the mechanics inside it is not working really well the neck moves around a little bit and that is because there is a gap between the body and the neck so it's gonna move you can move it up and down sideways and the jaw can be moved manually as well the arms and the legs have fairly limited range of motion. You can move the right arm from up here to down here until it hits the body. And that goes the same to the left side. You can move it from up there to down here until it hits the body. The right leg has very limited range on it. It moves just about that much from here to here. And the left leg can go a little further. It goes from here to back here so just a little bit more than the right side and also when you're looking at the left side of the body you can see these screw holes uh, they should have done a little bit better job in hiding these things or actually not even using screws maybe popping them together instead of having these screw holes here the details on the dinosaur is really not the best uh, it's made out of hard plastic and you can see some of these scales but the paint job and the just the details itself is really washed out. When you're looking at even the face close up, you can see that the details are really not the greatest. They're washed out. And look inside the mouth here. So when you're looking uh, at the Jurassic World toys, you can definitely find better ones out there. There are much higher details than this one. And also on the uh, right side, we have this little window where if you hit it, it pops open so you can see inside you can see the ribs and some of the internal organs and this can be just uh, pulled shut like that and this is here for some dino damage action so let's put this down and we'll take a look at that dino damage and here's a disc that came along with this uh, package as well as we got this little soldier guy and this one itself is not very highly detailed either and you can move the arms around all the way you can move the legs but every single body part moves together you cannot move it separated from each other and the neck turns around 360 degrees little exorcism move over there and this is really just kind of weak you would expect something a little bit better in this department as well now in my opinion the best part and the best thing in this whole set is the actual gyrosphere and this looks pretty cool it's really nicely modeled after the one from the movie this has wheels on the back here that actually turn and on the front here this is just a make-believe wheel so if you put this down and you're rolling it around like this it's cool but if you're trying to roll it like this eventually it will start actually rolling itself without the wheels being involved so it's not meant for that 
Also, there's some action included in here where if you press down on this button, uh, the front slams open, the side opens up, and the seat pretty much throws the people or ejects the uh, the person out of it, and it has this cool motion to it. Also, you can put the disc on the top, slide it in here, and when you squeeze it together, if you have the dyno standing here, and if I can actually aim at it and shoot at it, you can squeeze this together, hit the dyno, and if you would hit it on the side, boom, like that. You can actually see the dyno damage, so that's what it's there for. So I would probably say this is the best part out of the whole set. Uh, the dyno itself is not the greatest. Uh, then again, if you're buying it for a toy for a child who will beat it up anyways, it's probably not a bad thing. And when you're looking at the uh, little soldier dude here and you have him sit inside, let's close this door. Close the front up. And if I press on the side here, we should throw him out, but as you can see, he's getting stuck in there, so it's really not even working as intended, because he's getting stuck with his helmet, so it's not getting thrown out of the other cabin like he's supposed to be. So that's the Indominus Rex versus the Gyrosphere. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please don't forget to thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.